Well, the holidays are upon us. Everywhere you go, you found, like me, I'm sure, that there are nothing but Christmas songs playing. Everybody are starting to make travel arrangements, either to have people come visit or to travel somewhere for themselves. It's the holidays. It's a wonderful time of the year. Unless you're grieving, unless you're feeling very alone this year, and then what can have what was once sort of feelings of joy around this time of the year can become very easily feelings of dread. We can feel very, very alone just by ourselves or in a crowd even. And it doesn't really matter whether this is the first year that our loved one has passed on, gone on to the spirit world, or the 10th or the 20th, the holidays are never the same again without them. Now, I know there are a lot of tips out there on what to do to cope with the holidays when you're grieving. I just wanted to make this little video just to add my two cents from the perspective of being a spiritual medium and the best-selling author of Till Death Don't Us Part about my continued relationship with my loved one in the spirit world. And so I just wanted to offer you some ideas that I have found very useful for me sort of getting through the holidays and just what the, you know many many things that I have learned over the years working as a medium. So the first thing I will say is a lot of people don't understand when you are aware that your loved one continues to exist in spirit form and then you can and that your love endures beyond the veil you know you know I'm sure you've encountered this a lot of people don't understand that. And so what I would say is just recognize that your grief is unique, but also your beliefs around that are unique, but also your relationship with your loved one is unique, always was and always will be. So I would suggest rather than trying to talk to somebody necessarily about this, unless it's somebody who really understands and shares your belief system and trusts your judgment and your experience, I would say just make a nice space for yourself and your loved one this holiday season. You don't have to share everything with everyone, particularly if they don't understand the nature of these continued relationships. And not everyone does. But if you want to join my spirit space group, you'll find lots of like-minded people there grappling with these, with these same questions. So I would say make sure first, after having made space just for you and your loved one, honor yourself, honor yourself and honor your grief. Don't get annoyed with yourself because of your grief. There's lots of people out there say, well, if I'm grieving, my vibration's too low and then my loved one won't be able to make themselves known. I won't be able to sense them. That's not true. Grief, love is what makes these communications possible. And grief is evidence that you have loved and you still love. So think of it like that. It is an enduring evidence, an enduring sign of the love that you hold still in your heart. So what I would say is very important. Know that your loved one is beside you. Speak to them over the holidays. Send out a thought and they will hear you. They can hear all of our thoughts, our consciousness, with the, the bond of love between you and your loved ones means that all conscious thoughts are shared between you and them. So if you want, then just speak to them. Know that they're listening. Know that they're present. As soon as you think about them, they will feel that thought touch their mind. You may actually find sometimes that there is something, a memory of them or something from them just sort of popped into your mind out of the blue. Maybe you're just washing the dishes or brushing your teeth and suddenly and abruptly a, a memory of them just came to you like that. And you thought you were thinking of them. And in fact, what just happened there was they were thinking of you and you felt their thought touch your mind. And so the same happens with them as well. So please send out those thoughts to them talk to them and know that they are beside you, that they are present and that, they, that the love between you endures. If you want, you can ask them for a sign to let you know that they're close. If you're struggling to sort of sense them or if you're struggle, struggling just to sort of make that leap of faith, ask them for a little sign and then you will find something that says, speaks to you of them. And it may be something that's quite common, like a robin, 
or a penny or whatnot, but ask them to show you a sign that has their mark on it. And when you see it, you'll go, ah, that's exactly my loved one. It's exactly what they did. That's exactly what I would associate with them. Ask them. They can do this. Don't worry. I would say also do something together that you liked to do together. And don't use this now as a way to make yourself sad. Or when we used to do, we used to go for a walk here together. I want you to take, do whatever, something that you loved to do together, but talk to them as you're doing it um, because they are right beside you. It's important to know that whether you can see or sense or hear them, which you probably won't hear them, but you may get a sense of them. But it's important just to choose to believe that because the more you can choose to believe the truth of their continued existence and enduring love and their connection to you, the more you will over time open up to be able to and sense it, to become sensitized to just that sense of knowing or that sense of feeling when they are close by. So another idea that I love is write a little poem or a greeting in a card for them. You know, they will hear your thoughts, remember, and they will hear it as you're writing it. And so they will know these beautiful words that you want to share with them on the holiday season. Now, all of that said, if your grief is overwhelming, please do go to a grief counsellor or a grief support group. But for me, as a medium, I just want to stress that your loved one continues to walk with you that they are there, that they can feel you, they can hear you, can, they can touch you as soon as you turn their, your thought to them. And sometimes they're just there. I find this all the time. They're just there and I'm not even paying attention. And then all of a sudden I become aware that they've been there all the time. Isn't that beautiful? So please do celebrate your continued relationship this Christmas and cherish that love that endures beyond life, beyond death. Just remember, death is not goodbye. Now, if you want to learn more about continuing relationships or if you want to find a community of like-minded people, please do go visit my site, www.karenfrancismccarthy.com. Check out my Eternal Bonds Masterclass. That might be helpful to you as well. All right. So in the meantime, I wish you and your loved ones, incarnate and discarnate, a wonderful holiday season. Cherish the love, celebrate the love as you celebrate the holidays.